Shalom, call Haloyim La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and others of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Aki out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami camp coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. And in this lesson, I want to do. Uh, you know, just speak a few words on this movie that I just got uh, finished watching. All right. Titled Implanted. Implanted is what the movie is called. It came out about uh, uh, September of last year, 2021. And there was, uh, I remember when the, uh, watching the trailer for it, I remember uh, brothers, certain brothers, doing lessons on it on the trailer and uh i remember back then wanting to watch it but uh somehow i forgot about it but the spirit led me back to it now it's on tubi right here for free and i watched it okay and esau is like he like he always does with his predictive programming is putting it right out what he what he plans on doing all right, this is a pretty good movie, pretty good watch, especially for us brothers in the know that understand that this is prophecy. Okay, this is a was a totally prophetic movie. Okay, because we know that this is something that's going to actually happen on the earth in real life. Okay, uh, truth, like they say, truth is stranger than fiction. All right, art imitates life, and uh, vice versa. Okay, and if you watch this movie, you read it. Let's see. Let's read this. It says a woman is a test subject for an experimental medicine, a medical AI implant, which stands for artificial intelligence implant, and it takes control of her body. All right, and without saying too much about the movie, basically, yeah, this uh, main character right here, this chick, and uh, she she was falling on hard times. And needed some money, so she volunteered to be a test subject uh, for this company that was wanted to do uh, human trials on their uh, brain implant. Okay, which was a, a controlled by artificial intelligence. And when you watch the movie, when they open up, it the movie is supposed to be set in 2023. It, in the movie, it tells you it's in 2023, and it spoke about 2020 with uh, the whole big pandemic. It said three years after the pandemic, the global pandemic, they kept, you know, hinting at uh, the, the Rona and everything like that. All right. But basically, she volunteered herself to be in, in, in this uh, program. And lo and behold, the the implant, the artificial implant, the program that was basically inside of her, basically she was possessed by an artificial intelligence uh, program. Okay, she she had no more autonomy over her own body. She had to do what the what the program wanted her to do, and if she didn't do it, it would cut off her air circulation and all type of shit it made her do all type of shit okay and that's exactly what's getting ready to happen for all you people that that uh consent unto this devil you're gonna be had in derision as the scriptures say you you're not going to uh have control over yourself no more. you're gonna literally be possessed by an ai demon okay and uh, what's funny about this movie, even though the main character is a so-called white woman, when they show you when she went to go uh, receive this, uh, this implant, the majority of the people that was in line at the, uh, at the medical facility to, to also volunteer were Jake's. It shows you the rest of the people that was volunteering. It was 
mainly it, it was an, another white dude maybe a couple other white dudes but it was mainly so-called jake men and then they also showed a northern tribe chick and they showed you jake talking to the to the to the edomites that was uh running the program and you can see that Jake's was docile as hell, dumb as hell. I don't know who they talk about. Uh, is 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 cool if you know? It's going how much I'm gonna get paid and all this shit. Okay. And and, and they show you Jake was bugging the hell out in the movie. So this is this is a good watch. It's, it's, it's it gives you a good glimpse into how things is gonna be in the near future, especially because like hey. In the movie itself, it said it was set in 2023, and it came out 2021. We're in 2022 now, and this is supposed to be the year where Neuralink is is uh, starting their human trials. And I believe you have another uh, brain computer interface. That's the the scientific name of of uh, this type of uh, technology. Is a a surgical brain computer interface something that hooks your brain up to to uh, the internet okay well i think the other company is called sync synchron or something like that it's supposed to be a rival to Neuralink. they i believe they already started their human trials this year so it, it lines up perfectly the timeline lines up perfectly with uh what they brought out in this movie all right and uh yeah and then at the end of the movie they showed you that she wasn't the only one that there was a whole bunch of other people that that was hooked up that they had these chips in them okay so like i said it's, it's a pretty good watch to show you she was she was bugging the hell out she totally regretted doing it but she she needed the money and that's how it's exactly gonna be with a lot of these Jakes, man. He saw, he 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 he's uh gonna take advantage of Jake, like he always does. Which ultimately, that's who he wants to to take this technology the most. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why? Because he knows who you are. You are the true people of the Lord, the true uh, biblical Israelites. And if you take this device, then you you are basically his now. You have given yourself over to the beast. Hence the 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 term mark of the beast. Alright, referencing Revelation 13 and 16. This is what it's all coming to. Alright. Let me just show you some uh, images from the movie. Alright. And with the whole World Economic Forum great reset that's exactly all what did this all this is what they're talking about so these directors he didn't just come up with this whoever the hell directed this movie so they showing the karagmas whoever this dude is fabian dufield the so-called director he didn't just just think this up himself more than likely this guy was uh contracted by the the elites to produce this film and they told him how to do it and what to, to put in it as a form of uh, predictive programming, like they always do. This ain't, you know, this is this is bigger than than this one dude. This is a, a, a global agenda from on high. All right. So yeah, this is something I wanted to, to speak on, man. It was a pretty good, pretty good watch. Pretty good watch. They they, they they show you exactly what's getting ready to happen. All right, uh, just get a couple precepts. I always bring this one out when dealing with these topics. Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Speaking of who? That secret council that it speaks of earlier in the chapter which is your so-called uh, secret societies the higher uh illuminaries the so-called illuminati they they have plans on the books of what they're getting ready to do and they tell 
feel me? The masses, which the word masses means dead. Okay, they, they tell the masses of what they're getting ready to do, which is what? Getting ready to put a karagma in people. Okay? And they in, in the movie they showed you tied that it was it was tied to the whole C19 pandemic. Alright? That was basically how they got the ball rolling. And with the yabs and everything, getting people to uh, agree with getting the yab. That was all a trial run. All right. Verse 9. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in Yahweh and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Because the elect, we have the eyes out. We, Lord willing, we of the elect, speaking as the hopeful elect, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. We have the eyes styles. We can see what's going on. We can see right through these devils. Why? Because we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. So when we see these different things take place, we know that it's prophecy. We know these things is uh, set up from the Lord to happen. So when we see these things, our, our faith is boosted, first and foremost. Because we know we are much closer or that much closer to uh, the kingdom of heaven being set up. This, this man being put down. All right. And we know that, you know, we, we know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah, like I said, this is just something I want to speak on. There's a few words on this movie implanted. Uh, so, uh, so just brothers, check it out. So I'm going to leave right there with them and say, Shalom. Call out your hope, I should be outside.